The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. And they shall rebuild the old ruins, they shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the ruined cities, the desolations of many generations. This well-known prophecy, anticipating the coming of Messiah, was written over 700 years before Jesus Christ was born. When Jesus was about 30, he went into the synagogue in his hometown of Nazareth, read the first part of this passage aloud, then announced, Today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. God anointed Jesus to give good tidings, healing, liberty, freedom, God's favor, comfort, consolation, beauty, joy, praise, righteousness, growth, rebuilding, and to defeat evil. When Messiah arrived, everything changed. Abundant life arrived. I am particularly drawn to the image of a garden planted by the Lord. God has given us a corner of his garden to tend. As we live the life of Christ and work with him to beautify our small corner, God is glorified. After all, God has made everything beautiful in its time. Messiah has come. O oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. God of salvation, wake us up, Lord. The, the night is nearly over. Let us begin our Advent journey. Move us from our lives of greed and selfishness, from our globalized world of, of inequality and, and, and exploitation, to your kingdom of righteousness and mercy, to a transformed world where peace is built on, on understanding, not weapons. The poor are empowered to live their lives to the full. Businesses are, are built on need, not greed, and your creation is nurtured, not abused. Wake us up, Lord. Let us live, live as people of the light. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen.